Today we have a very special mission guys, we have to test drive 4 new pickups in our beautiful farming village guys. What is up everybody, Nika's farming here and today I just woke up in my new farming house and as usually I was something, I was feeling bored today you know guys and the boss called me today and said hey man we have 4 new pickups with different colors here, do you want to test drive them? And I was like yeah, why not? I can just come in here, take my bike out from the garage and go and test drive those pickups, guys. Just get them full in the mud, go through all the fields, then just go back to my to my, to my my house, wash them, make them clear and get them back to the garage in order to buy, to get the pickup spot from other people. Let's just do that, guys, today and just enjoy the watching. So, recently I have bought this very new sport bike, sport motorcycle, and as you can see, let's just test drive it a little bit before we will go to our pickups here. And as you can see, it's going really, really fast. We can actually start off by here and, oh my gosh, we're going even more than 150. This is like 100 miles an hour on this beautiful sport bike. I don't think that any pickup can go that fast and jump like that. Whee! That thing is so hilarious and so interesting, you know, you get so much adrenaline while driving in real life. This is what I can tell you guys. And so the thing is, you see that field in front of us, this is a really big black field that we have here, like a brown color field. And we have really four, like the brand new four models of pickup trucks here. And we're gonna use each of them today. The green one, the blue, the red, and I think the yellow one. Yes, so we have four different colors of them. And we are going to start off with the yellow one because Actually, yellow is my most favorite color, guys. So let's just use this truck and get it full straight into the mud. This is actually the newest version of the Chevrolet. I think it's Chevrolet Captive or something. It has more than 500 horsepower. But anyway, it is not as fast as my motorbike is. But the pickup is very, very strong. And as you can see, it is actually done for off-road, for off-road driving. The car goes pretty well here. Oh, let's just don't get those birds hurt because we don't want to... And we don't want to make anything bad for the nature. As you can see, the car is really covered in mud right now after we after we drive here in the field, guys. You can see like every detail here. And you just have to watch everything. I, I, I really like this game, guys, because every single detail here is so detailized, it's so, it's so precise. You can see even the tires are covered in mud right now, and every single inch of the car is covered with mud. This thing looks real like an off-roady kind of thing. You know, I've also played spin tires before and the cars were also getting in mud all the time, but it, the details in that game were the same as here in Farming Simulator and this is why I love to play this game with you guys. So let's just continue off straight by using the red truck. This is the this is actually the same Chevrolet pickup model, but the red color is even better here, I would say. And yeah, this field is going to withstand many pickup trucks driving through today. There are going to be many, many trucks and many, many times we'll go through, make the circles. You can actually do a lot of fun here and this is what I really love about my job, guys. You can drive different types of cars, you can fly helicopters, you can rescue people as we did in the last video that you can check out on our channel and also give a thumbs up to that. And you can also mod the trucks in this episode, guys. I really love that. So this is the red car that we just also made dirty right now and we later on in the video just stay tuned till the end, we will wash every single car and move them back to the garage, guys, and go back to drive home by motorbike, uh, just in case anything uh, anything bad will happen, but I think we're gonna be okay. As you can see, the interior in the car is so detailized, there's so many details in this new Chevrolet pickup. You see the steering wheel, the multimedia, the speedometer, everything is so beautiful, and I'm actually really curious, how can you drive in mud uh, inside the car? You just cannot see anything. Just look at that, guys. The car, even the pickup truck inside is covered with mud. Oh my gosh, I love the details here so much. You can see, like, I just even zoom it in. So many details, you see? You see, like, ah, uh, yeah, but inside, that's the problem, guys. You can see everything from the inside. But even though you see the windows, they are covered in mud. So, in mud. so the question is... My question is, how the hell can you see everything from the outside even though the windows are covered fully in mud? That thing is really hilarious. And this is the only disadvantage of the game, the only minus that I actually found here, guys. So let's just move on with straight with this last green pickup. The, it, oh my gosh, the car looks so amazing, but the color looks like a little bit of, of, of a toxic color, don't you think so? Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about that, because the green color, you know, like, we have a... We have a green dark 
dark green color this is like light green like light yellow car and my most favorite color is actually yellow as i told you but this green color i also like very very much anyway the car looks pretty nice as well and now it's gonna be also covered with dirt guys so you're gonna to see it right now so the thing is in order to make my boss happy i need to make every cover like, every car dirty you need to spend like 20 to 30 seconds going through the black field going to the brown field in order to make every car dirty and i like driving it actually from the inside because you can see everything through the window this is not even a problem look from the outside the car is fully covered in in oh my gosh not in blood in mud why the hell then can you see everything from the inside i do not understand it guys so let's just i just sat down in the yellow pickup let's move that truck to the washing station the washing station is the another garage that i'm going to show you just in a second here so guys now we have a little bit of a problem i just missed our spot our washing place i don't know what it is so i think i have to go to the river right now okay guys here we come i just found our washing spot so this is the other garage close to my house and what's gonna happen right now guys is we're gonna step out of the vehicle just move it a little bit closer here into the garage and you can just count to three. One, two, three, bam! The car is fully washed and we can just go on and drive off the car off our garage and move it back to our, the place where we started. Do you know the difference in the car that I just noticed after getting the car dirty? After washing the car, the engine is not working that properly good. The car just got much slower after washing it. Okay, now it, speed up, it speeds up as usual as it was before. But after washing the cars in the farming sim, in the farming simulator, the problem is that they start going a little bit slower. I have no idea what sort of a problem that could be. So we just stop that car here. Uh, the yellow one is fully washed. Let's just go on with the red one. Oh my gosh, the red looks so amazing as well. I really love that color. I think not only yellow, but red is also my favorite color, guys. Oh my gosh, just crashed it. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, dear tree. <laughs> Okay guys, so now we've returned back to the washing garage here. As you can see, it is it is located right here. Oh, just crashed the pickle a little bit. Gotta be really more careful with that. And as you can just see it right now, we can count to three, two, one. Wait, it's not working. Working! Yes, the car is fully washed now. Oh my gosh, the car looks so amazing. Also, not only inside the garage, but also from the outside. Just look at that car. Every, every detail is so properly done. Even also the mirrors, the mirrors in the car. Do you see that retraction all the time? We come out of the car, we step out of it, and the mirrors just go down, they're closing. This is, this is, I just want to notice you how many details are here in this beautiful game. Even the mirrors are closing after you stepping out of the car. That thing is really nice. And let's just get back the car to the garage. Now we have come here, let's stop the car just right here in the middle and park it as perfectly as it was parked before and move on to the next car which is the blue one blue is actually my least favorite color even though the car has all these interesting amazing details such as such as closing the mirrors here and getting all even the tires are covered in mud and everything but and the the, the only problem is that you drive from when you drive from the inside you can see everything and the second thing is that the blue color, I really don't like it that much. So let's just get back straight to our washing garage. It was actually right here, not that far away. So as you can see, this is the other house. This is not the house that I'm living in. This is my boss's house where I wash the cars. But it, this, my boss car, my boss house, sorry guys, looks the same as my house does. And this could actually make you some thoughts like, why the hell are you washing your uh, boss's pickups in his house when you have the same house? But the thing is, I don't have water. I don't have water right now, and that is the problem. Because the boss lives here, he sees every single car that I come and wash here with his cameras. Because not only he has the water in the garage, but also he has the cameras. And this is how he's controlling me today, guys. So we just watched that beautiful blue pickup. Even the color looks much more amazing right now, when after you wash the car. And let's just park it right here, perfectly inside, just like that. Ah, let's be careful with that mirror because that mirror should be closing after we count. Yes, okay, it's closing. Beautiful. And the last car we are going to wash today and park back is the green Chevrolet pickup. That looks, wow, that looks so amazing. Just look at all of these details. Wow, I like that one. Okay, so we're coming back to our boss's garage now and wash this last green beautiful pickup. And the problem is I always crush my cars into the wall. Oh my gosh, I, don't, I shouldn't be doing that. 
Look at the car, it's looking so beautiful now. Wow, this color, this Chivalry Magnum. The name is Chivalry Magnum, this is how it's called. I like this car very much. Okay, let's just get back to our office. Let's get, get back to our garage. Do you know guys why I'm not going to the field? I think you got you, you you can guess it right yet yeah? because I don't want to the car to get dirty again. Otherwise I'll have to wash it here. So we just don't need that. And all the three cars and now the four cars are totally washed, guys. And the next thing we need to do right now is to make a photo of these cars. Just let's go back like that. And here we have the four cars. Let's just make a small photo of our bus. Okay, done. And get back to our motorbike and drive back to our home. So this was a very nice video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.